We'll go on now and say hello to Andrea in Texas. Hello, Andrea. Yes, thank you. First, I'd like to say that I don't accept the guilt trip this man is trying to lay on all of us for the Holocaust. But the main point that I would like to make is I, I find his attitude of take us or leave us very strange indeed. When American Jews and the U.S. taxpayer have been paying for the support of Israel all these years, the time it, it seems is long past due when we said enough. And, and you sit down at the peace table with the PLO as the sole representative of the Palestinian people and with a truly international conference. Um, or we simply s stop sending the $4 billion scot-free of any strings attached every year. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. America doesn't back Israel because Israel is nice. It's a democracy. There are no allies in this world. There are interests. America has an interest in that, in that area. It needs a strong, stable, anti-Soviet ally. It has a big choice, Israel or Abu Dhabi, or Oman, or Kuwait. Uh, you, don't, you don't do us favors. Anytime America doesn't want the Haifa naval base for its sixth fleet, or, or the Negev for a storing grounds for tons of US weapons to be used in case of, of uh, war there. Anytime you don't want us to fly the F 16s in real combat and show you what is wrong with them. Anytime you don't want an ally, cut off the money. Don't do us favors. In fact, in my platform, we call for, for a cutoff of all economic aid to Israel. You're, you're not helping us with it. We're a, we are a junkie that gets its annual fix. It prevents us from dealing with our economic problems. I don't want economic aid. I want Israel to reshape and reform its economic structure, private capital, free enterprise, capitalism, that will make Israel independent of the world. So don't do us favors.